hurts over there, which I don't think anyone's watching over there, but uh, all right, let's cut this music down. Vector of the something. Do, 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 go over here, do that thing. Nice. Turn that on. Honkai, where are you? Is this the one, the only curio? Should be, it is. So I've been, um, just to, to nerd out a little bit, um, just to nerd out a little bit, you guys, I've been, uh, re-architecting my, um, so now that my house, I finished the basement, the new stream room's done and the basement's almost done. The server room's done. I wish I could show you guys a picture. It is cool as hell, mainly cause I'm a, I'm a, you know, a cloud solution architect by day. But um, I've been able to uh, re-engineer my entire network stack. So now I have control of everything. Net flows, everything goes a lot faster. Black Tiger, good to see you. Brace this, good to see you. Um, so everything is working a lot better. Now my NASes and all my storage devices are finally in my server room and not here. So everything's starting to come together. I'm very, very happy about it. And I think you guys will get a kick out of what I've called it. Uh, you guys like the, uh, the, sh my, my, uh, <laughs> my don my domain name at my house is called avalanche and my, um, my network stack is called Shinra HQ. And yeah, I, I always do video game references for everything. So, uh, I thought you guys would find that pretty funny. Uh, but this is still missing a lot. I have seven cameras that need to go that need to plug in from outside. Uh, I have 17 different Raspberry Pis that run Dockers across the board. Everything is now POE. Everything runs through Ethernet. You don't even have to plug it into the wall. Everything on this stack essentially can connect with with its power just through an Ethernet cable. It's cool as hell. Um, so I'm really, really happy with the way this is turning out. I have full control. I can now tune down different things. Um, I can take a lot of the upload speed myself. If someone in the house is using too much download or upload, I can tune them down proactively. I can also tell it when I'm streaming to give me priority of everything. So this is, I'm super, I'm super excited about all this. So anyways, um, cool stuff, cool, cool stuff. Uh, anyways, let's get into the uh, game, should we? Damn, poggers, right? Yeah, it's pretty poggers. I think it is, at least. I think it's cool stuff. Hold on, let me change my face real quick. Dude, dude, it's good to see everyone. Um, so we're going to try and jump into the story right away. I do need to burn just a slight amount of... Um, a slight amount of... Um, um, energy before doing that. Get ready for the story. Yes. You're eating a cheese, witch. that's bad. wonderful. Yes. Where you take like two pieces of provolone, right? Then you put the lettuce in, then you put the meat inside, put a little bit of sauce in there. Uh, what I like to do my favorite dinner right now and being on keto and, um, is I like to get, um, like sausages or something, or even like, um, hot dogs, or, but like really good ones, right? And I wrap them in bacon, but first I cut a slit down it and I put a little bit of cheese in it. Then I wrap it in bacon. I throw it in the air fryer for 15 minutes. God damn. Oh, that is good. Mm. Mm, that's like a dinner right there. The story's good. I'm going to enjoy it. Nice. story is really good i'm so excited to try it I'm so excited um i also fell off a ladder today so my finger really hurts i don't think i broke it i think i just really bruised it or jammed it up so i can still move it and then i've got i landed on my ribs right here i can feel it oh but luckily i'm in better shape otherwise it would have been worse i like caught myself midair not good not good. Uh, so we're probably going to do a quick sim universe and then we're going to get into the story because I got to burn a little energy first and we're going to wait for some people to come in if they want to watch, right? Guys, good to see you. How you doing, June? Good to see you. What is up with you, buddy? 
let me get this popped up so I can see what we're doing here. Damn, I hope I'm okay. My, I, I thought I, had, I was so concerned I broke something, but I like I like I tucked the fall. I know this is anticlimactic and unfortunate, but I'll have to uh, leave. I mean, that's fine. No, Chippy, listen, my stream is um, you got to take care of your real life. That's the most important. You got to do you. If you're going out to party, you're hanging out with friends. You got to take care of business. You need to go to work you need to do school. You do that. And if you want to just leave open the lurk, leave open the browse, hit the mute button. I greatly appreciate you. I really do. I really do. I hope you have a great night. You fall off a bike. I fell off a ladder. Um, like the, my footing slipped out from under me. And that was not good. New event today. What's the event today? Let me take a look. Do, do. Gives you exactly 10 pulls. Does it now? Oh, this one right here. Oh, like in gems. Luckily, I don't have to pull anymore. I'm going to look at doing that. Do, 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 do. All right, let's do a quick sim while people are coming in. Then we're going to do story. I got to get through a little bit of energy. So we're going to do a quick, quick stimmy. Um, I have a little funny. I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Chin, good to see you. How you doing, buddy? I do appreciate you guys. Um, You know, I think I'm going to start doing this. When story missions come out, I think we're just going to wait a few days. Because I think everyone likes to enjoy the story themselves. And then you can watch my reaction to uh, me just crying. I'm not going to stop pulling until I get E2 Anchoron, dude. Feels. 100% feels. Oh, how did that not hit? That was BS. I got that. Oh boy. Doing all right. How am you? How am I doing? I'm doing good. Who am I pulling next? Um, I don't think I am pulling till. Wait, who's the chick that sings again? I always get them confused. Is it um? Is it Robin? It's Robin, right? Yeah, Robin. I don't think I'm pulling till Robin because I called it. I really should have done a video for Akron. If you got E2 Akron, none of the current Harmony characters are what she needs. I know a lot of people will say Sparkle, but she doesn't need Sparkle. I had a feeling when I read her E2 that Robin is going to be the, the is going to be it is going to be the Harmony character you want for her. Um, so that's what I'm thinking about pulling and that will fix the rest of her team. Now it would be good to get adventuring too, but I just don't want to, I just don't want to. Sparkle is technically a DPS boost for her though. I know, but like the synergy is like, it's weird. You know what I mean? She doesn't really outpace like a Branya or a run may like, yes, she does better than both of them, but it's not enough to like. Like, if you already have Sparkle, then yeah, fine. But it wasn't enough to justify pulling Sparkle unless you had the Dill team or you had the Quantum team, right? That we've talked about. Are you going to be playing Wuthering Ways? I am. Oh, speaking of that, I am so sad and upset about Wuthering Ways. I don't know if you guys saw my Twitter post today. So apparently, let me let me talk here to you guys real quick, just, just quickly. Um, I was really big into Wuthering Ways. I played the first two betas. They didn't give me the third beta. Um, and then what I found out is that they are giving, um, they gave a advanced copy to all the big YouTubers that has every character and every resource already pre-compiled on it. You get like 999,000 of every resource so that they can pre-make guides months in advance. They have them today. So they, they get a two to three month head start with every character unlocked that they can upgrade, downgrade, 
with every weapon and every resource. They don't even have to play the game. And I am a little bummed out about it. Just personally, us. Um, but you know what? I'm still going to try. Um, I think it's going to be very competitive for me to try to get back into YouTube for that game. But we're going to do our best. We'll see what happens. Yeah, almost like uh, what happened in HSR, but like a week early. Yeah, but like a week early is fine. Not three months or, you know, two months early. You know what I mean? I wonder if you didn't get, uh, get into it. So I found out from the contact that I have there is that I just... I think it's mainly because I took a break, even though I told them, I was like, Hey, I have family issues, but I really want to get back into it. I mean, obviously they don't care, uh, from a marketing standpoint, but, um, I just don't think we're a big enough channel anymore that I can like, we were for a while during tower of fantasy, I was able to like really convince a lot of these developers and stuff to give me access. But now like you look at the numbers and they just, it just doesn't add up. Right. <laughs> But it's okay. I mean, listen, um, I'm going to try my best. That's when we're going to get, we're going to get back into it. Um, I really need to get back into YouTube really badly. Uh, I keep saying it. I'm going to do it. Now that I have my room, I can do it. So that I got to stop giving myself excuses. So you lost some momentum. I lost a ton of momentum, like a ton of momentum. Cookies. Appreciate you. Jobs, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate you as well. Indeed, right? We gotta make some more s snack packs, apparently. You were trying to keep my YouTube alive by watching my videos? So I have, um, by only doing live streams to my YouTube, which we don't do that many, we're doing, them, we're doing one right now, I have lost six... 800 subs uh, subscribers because most people that sub to my channel don't want to watch my live streams they want to watch my videos and I'm not doing videos so I'm, I'm working it out can't find that long lost YouTube password right yeah dun, dun. Uh, by the way if you are watching on YouTube hit the like it does help me out I do appreciate you Listen, I'm not complaining. I'm actually really happy with where this channel is. You guys have been super amazing, super supportive with everything that's been going on in my life. And I can I couldn't ask for a better community. Like shit, like, you know, when shit hits the fan, it hits the fan, right? Yeah, it's based on how many YouTube videos you make. I know I'll get I'll get back into it at some point. We also saw a Project Mugen and Azure uh, Promilia. Yes, I need to go do like a reaction video to that. Um, so many games, so many games coming out. It's not even funny. Too many games. Also, Kiros, it's my birthday today. Fun time. Happy birthday. You're here with us right now. What is that? Listen, go, go take some shots. I, mean, I don't know if you're 21, but. If you're not, take shots of cake. And but happy birthday. I do appreciate you. Mm, 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 mm. Alright. Uh by the way, if you guys are just stopping in, we're getting into the story in about 10, 15 minutes. So we're just burning a little energy. 22! Oh, I remember the 22s. It was 2000 and something. I don't even know. Actually, <laughs> math. Long time ago. The galaxy so close. Where we are right now. 
Do do do. Nice. You live in the Canadias. You gotta love the Canadas, except for your housing prices, out of control. I had a I had a buddy that moved to uh, Canada recently, and no bueno. Well, I meant like everything's bueno, but except for the the housing prices. Are you going to do the story with the Japanese voice on or the English? We got to do English because um, lots of people like to listen. Like, how did that use two? Like, sometimes I don't understand. That's only... I thought, I thought one charge is supposed to last for three slashes. You were 22 in 2014? Ah, oh, the good old days. To be young again. Aye, mm -mm. another Canadian. Guys, welcome on in. Good to have you i do like english better for the story but the battle voice is japanese 100 100 percent i can't have beer curios why not is the legal age for beer like higher than normal We're still looking for a good orb, unfortunately. And the game is still continuing not to give it to us. Wow, that would have been a, a nice rope to... This still could be a decent rope. Roll. I must be the elder of the group now. Ah, yes. Namath. Sante, the spirits of Sante. I don't know how that goes, but there you go. I have dubbed the I think they stopped selling beer at like 4 p.m. The fudge? Oh uh, yeah, it's nice. The wick trimmers. Dun, dun, dun. We have to finish Final Fantasy at some point, which will probably be next week. I think I've got one more stream left. Well, that was a lot of baller effects. Let's go. You actually think you're going to try Wuthering Ways? You should. I actually really enjoy Wuthering Ways. I just don't like that they've uh, annexed me to the background. So it is what it is. Yeah, it sounds weird. Oh, look at that beautiful damage. Love to see it. Yeah, I don't give Wow, how many turns is she gonna get? Did she just go three times in a row? Bro, the fudge. It's out in about two months, yes. Uh, May 22nd is when it come out. Comes out. God, I love Akron. You think Akron's better than Jing Liu? No. So I think Jing Liu overall is better, especially at E0. Um, just from a team compilation ease of use standpoint. But is Akron on the top end better? Yes. You 
got to remember, guys, like, you know, I think I said it on the previous stream. Akron is terrible for new players and terrible for people that don't have a built up roster, right? You have to have at E0, you have to use essentially Pela and Silver Wolf. And if you don't have Silver Wolf, you got to use. Um, wait, I'm blinking on her name. Uh, uh, Gwynefin. Sorry, Gwynefin. And uh, it's just a lot of commitment to get that working. You know what I mean? It's a lot. Like, sh she'll... That's why I said she'll out DPS Jing Liu at the top end. But Jing Liu works a lot easier from a team compilation standpoint, right? You could use, you know, you could use Ting, right? You could use... Uh, or um, you, you could use... Uh, you could use Branya. You could use a bunch of characters, right? In there. So you beat the hardest content with free to play units. Uh, I probably could. I have done it before, but maybe not the current hardest. I would have to see what their gear looks like. Mm. Damn, dude, I've got like. I don't know where any of these came from, but holy shit, I should just upgrade everything. Where did all this money come from? What the fudge? One shot. Oh, I thought I one shot him. Close. Waste of an alt. Yeah, 100%. You give me sparkle with Jing Liu. Yeah, I mean, like, Jing Liu is just better. I should cosplay Akron. You should. Nothing, nothing's more, nothing's more hot in life than cosplaying. For, for everyone. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I used to go to, like, PAX South. I used to cosplay as either like Naruto or uh or as uh uh Wow, why can't I think of his name? From Fairy Tale. Natsu. Back when I was like a personal trainer. Mm -mm -mm. You get notice, that's for sure. Mm -mm. E6 Akron, E2 Black Swan, E6 Pela, E0 Fu. Jeez, I mean, like, listen, E6 anything is just gonna dominate things, right? I don't typically like to get Eidolons in this game. I think it's a giant debate for a lot of players in their wallets. Whoa! I wonder how much damage our uh I wonder how much damage our Akron can hit the uh first world boss. Like it's gotta be like four million damage or something, right? Imaginary boost. Gross. HP percent, yay! This is pretty good. Physical damage boost. I'm getting good pieces on the other set, just not this set. Dun, dun. We gotta start saving all our gems and stuff again. All right, story time. How do I start this thing? Go. All right. 
Um, speaking of that, I need to change language. What's in here? Hey, free stuff. Uh, what a quality of life that is right there. Do do what the uh, <clears throat> where the where's the sound controls? Oh, here they are. Wait, that's not it. There we go. Why don't you complete the other parts of the story? I have completed the other parts. I just don't do the side story. That's for like a rainy day when we're all, you know, we all need, you know, some depression in our life. <laughs> the orange ones. I have done it. Uh, the fudge am I going? Here we go. If I didn't do it, it wouldn't let me continue the story. You know what I mean? No, oh, I should be recording this. Oh boy, what am I doing? <sighs> mm. do, 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 do. Is this on? Yep. Oh my god, confusing. All right, perfect. I'll save a Robin or further down. Here we go. It's this dude adventuring. I don't trust you, bro. I don't trust you, bro. Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. Famous singer, Robin. Hmm. How's that possible? Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC, so they'd never lie. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Mm. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? Maybe. Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. Hmm. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's dream weavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. <laughs> Not even a memo keeper could do that without What's a, the family's permission. What's a memo keeper? Who could have done it, friend? The only one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. Oh, yeah, yeah, Black Swan. Good call. Yeah, that's right. An who hides her true identity. I totally forgot. Appreciate it, chat. Ifrit's death was a foregone conclusion. Ifrit? And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? Hmm. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time. And I'm willing to wait. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I just hope mm -hmm. you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, covert plans are already underway throughout Panacone. Everyone's got their own agenda. Do they now? Careful you don't get stuck on the wrong side. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Acheron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. 
Keep your distance. I eat to tutor. There isn't an even deeper conspiracy lurking beneath the surface. I like the way she said deeper. Memo keeper, I think our little deal is finished. <laughs> Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. But you know all this. Friend, let's not beat around the bush here. The thing is, I want to reach out personally to team up with the Astral Express. Do you now? I told you, I'm just not interested in scrambling for the legacy. I just came to Pentagoni for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC. You catch my drift. Nope. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way. They've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. I thought they care about Robin's death. It'll just quietly death. float off like a bubble and pop. Nobody ever being the wiser. That's not fair, right? So then, friend, I need your help. Mm -hmm. I have but only one goal. The family's front door is like a high wall. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Once I find a weak point, the IPC will have plenty of means. Yeah, because you guys have all the money. Now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Mm -hmm. Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends all over Panacone precisely for this very moment. Well, that's very this astute of you. tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. So they'll be doing everything they can to stop it leaking, especially to the IPC. But I trust that there are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. Mm. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. I still don't trust him. But don't worry, just head back and talk things over with your companions. That navigator is really smart. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. If you come to any conclusions, call me. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. You're gonna give me free money? So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Big fan of free money. Aventurine just sauntered off. He really doesn't mean to force it, but something still seems off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What now? What are your plans? Black Swan. God damn. She's so hot. What is she thinking? I know what I'm thinking. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? know what I mean yeah you know um oh yeah talk to her on the surface this doesn't look like a bad deal for you but aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be he doesn't know about miss firefly yet but judging by your reaction, he may have noticed something going on. Another and dance, deliberately yes. shifted topics to the truth of death to try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking and very sound logic. Mm. Aventurine is no fool. 
and working with him definitely has its dangers. Yeah, he seems like a shark. Leaving it up to fate. It's just how that gambler thinks. Oh, God. Anyway, be careful out there. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. Hmm, I've got some As other for concerns. for the other questions... Uh-oh. It's all happened so quickly, I can only make conjecture. After leaving here, go have a chat with your companions. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Mm -hmm. Bum bum. Come this way. It's a short walk. Don't get lost. All right, lead on, mistress. Yeah. Do do do. What the fudge is this? This way. This is where we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened, and it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths, and ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. The English voice actor for Black Swan yeah, is pretty good. Hold on just a sec. Hmm. Black Swan gently touches my root. There you go. Excuse you. A small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone and there's no memo keeper to join you, hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. MLG, good to see you. Oh, Jesus. All right. Then I have something private to take care of regarding that Galaxy Ranger. Let's leave things there, shall we? Oh. What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. She, listen, whoever that voice actress is, she could probably be on Twitch doing ASMR with that voice. And you know. Yeah, anyways. Dun, 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 dun. What, what is all this? Oh my god. Mm -mm, I finished investigating on my side. Where should we meet? Mm -mm. She didn't do anything bad. I really wish she did do something bad. Just saying. Dun, 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 dun. Wrapping up negotiations. Let's meet by the clocky statue. A family rep. Is Himiko okay? Listen, I have mispronounced the clocky statue so many times. I usually say cocky statue. And that's just, it's just not good. But we should carry on. Isn't this a dream? That's part. Oh, you damn car. Okay, he said. Stream four. Hey, there's a chest there. Excuse me as I just press my skill all around town. Checked off the list. So much has happened. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts and wait for everyone to arrive. Should you? What does that mean? Some time ago, deep in the memory zone. Late now, Ranger. Do you still dream, Hunter? Damn, what Those am I watching? By your hand, 
Hello? Everflame Mansion. Duke Inferno? It appears the outcome has already been determined. We're still alive, as are you. We still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. Choice. What? The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. What? The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon, you won't get special treatment. Oh? Huh? Ranger. You tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. Is is he we um does he serve the, the destruction aeon? Until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes oh, on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire beam. From the beginning to the end. Yeah, his voice is good too. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young. But huh. my flames are feet, and time is running out. Can you see the planet of festivities in the distance? I plan to bring purgatory with me there, and before that, I must surpass you. Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanator. Emanator. Hmm. <sighs> you cannot hide your true identity. Draw that sword. For we shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death. For I choose this. Damn. Destruction is intense, but brief. To oh, I'm sorry, Kestra. To cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction. What is important is not the answer, but that it exists just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called Impossible is merely something that is yet to happen. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> me and that crying right. have the same expression. I accept. Slash him down. You shall witness the most brilliant and intense fire in existence. May this flame illuminate the farthest reaches of your bottomless dream a bottomless dream <laughs> yes that's right but you've made one small mistake Rero. this blade remains in its scabbard not out of 
pity or scorn. It's a personal secret that I don't want to disclose, but perhaps out of reciprocity. Reciprocity, what a word. Oh, I'll man. reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. The fudge? Secret agent. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. I still see them in my dreams. Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. What? My time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances, but they can never cover up who a person really is. And you're no different. You had no desire to kill the trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the memo keeper away, but why? Oh, snap. He's got the Triforce on his shoulder. Did Destiny's slave make you do it? You know, Elio. I thought this is just the kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. Yo, he is such a badass. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. Who exactly are you? Not your enemy, perhaps. That's not what I asked. Mm. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe still, I can help. Still didn't answer his question. What reason would you have for doing that? I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So, I know who is inside that cold armor. Huh? How about it? Ready to take off that armor and sit down for a talk? It's not yet time. I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that would make things better for you and me. Mm, the plot thickens. If your goal is the Watchmaker's legacy, then go look into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. There's whales. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next, then? The trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. Grand Legacy? I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am, confronting you. Mitsu, good to see you. How you doing, man? I failed. Can't ever go against the script. The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script 
about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that future foreseen by destiny. Unfortunately, not a thing came up. Hmm. She, she's an anomaly. <sighs> I knew it. Hang on. Uh oh. I don't. What? Don't. What? Your first question was Do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? I don't. Never have. I was born without the ability to dream. I live for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light and to burn. To keep on burning until I turn to ash. So. I really envy you. Man, the voice actor so? for Sam is so good. Then you're already living in the waking world. Oh God, it's good to see you. Is he stuck in the dreamscape? Like he can only live there? We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan, but we never expected Miss Robin to... Oh, I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you then. Erwin, thank you for the follow, by the Reality way. Reality cruises on in serenity while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape. Doing good. Just Doing like good. that memo keeper said. Stay strong, everyone. We can still do what we can for them. Starting with finding the murderer. Mm-hmm. Let's recap everything then. The trailblazer just reminded me of something. March, do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said? Uh, indeed, we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Uh, that's how it was put. In reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family's planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Penacony's going to turn into a bloodbath. Battle Royale. But the murder that followed closely after was obviously beyond their anticipation. The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival is nearly here. They must be snowed under. It may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. So they went with the flow and let more people on the scene to control the situation. <laughs> is she a whistleblower? Maybe. After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Indeed, he was particularly concerned about that Galaxy Ranger. I want to be Are called the Galaxy Ranger. The forest for the trees here. I always felt that Aventurine's reasons for accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? To only At power. This point, <laughs> I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Look, let's try to gather intel first and then list all the possible outcomes we can. Then we go through them, eliminating contradictions one by one. The fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool. It spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened uh, this time we're playing the role of a real detective but before we start what are we going to say to the family and adventuring no idea as i see things 
The family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's, in all likelihood, a scandal. Himiko's a Plus, scandal. This is the family's turf. No, we don't have a swimsuit Teaming up with edition. Them should make things easier for us in the future. As for that Aventurine, well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. He's complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. I can show you in a second, Lazy. He appealed convincingly to both reason and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Still, it's good to have contacts among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests are aligned, he can become a reliable ally. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Never let them get too close. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So no, no one likes pulling out. Accepting Adventurine's proposal to team up. Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. I get why, but there's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here, and I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand it anymore. Yikes. It's cool, you can bully me whenever. Uh, you... <laughs> no, I can't accept this. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Then, could you please reply to Aventurine? Everyone, take this time to put together your thoughts. Hmm. <laughs> I only get one, one choice. Uh... Man, they text really quickly. Just saying. Uh, now on, we'll be in this together. Will we though? Will we be in this together? Or am I getting screwed in this equation? Here's a small something. That's a lot of money. for an outstanding performance from us what's with this ragtime music yeah welcome to the old time what it is looks like Aventurine is happy with this outcome let's tell everyone about it all right Aventurine's goal is to try and recapture Penacony for IPC to do this he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance lazy you got it a tangerine the existence of death will be covered up by the family so how does he plan on taking them down big fan of tangerine it's got to be something important enough that everyone will notice but it also can't be anything too out in the open I'm just speculating. There was a lot of case, suggestions, just saying. We have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. Also, he's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. <laughs> Hold on one second, sorry. There we go. Do do do. Uh, so you're looking for the dot set real quick. Let me show you right here. Like, go down to. What's the dot set again? It's the um. Is this one right? Yeah. Go to. I wish I can go there without teleporting. Fudge. It's in the garden. Go to uh, Lafu. Go to the garden. 
and it's right here got it lazy Mm -mm -mm -mm. yeah you may not you may have not gotten through enough of the story yet you might have to do some of the ghost event to get there Uh, so you, I can't remember if you have to, but just to be sure, you might have to go to, how do you go to, if you go to your, um, go here, you can go to the past stories and then you may have to do some of this one right here, the Fox and tail of the haunted. And I think this opens that area. I don't know if you can get there without doing this. You may have to do that. Aventurine said something that concerns me. He accused that Galaxy Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. Mm -hmm. Maybe Aventurine's goal was never to gain our trust maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards acheron uh, probably lazy thank you so much for volatile, for being here in the stone. support however i asked don hung back on the express to confirm that story about the annihilation gang and the lost messages it wasn't something that aventurine made up out of thin air you've met her many times now what's your impression of miss acheron She's hot. Very powerful, mysterious, very powerful woman. Where I can't seem to remember. That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to a T. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. I feel like uh, the main character is having the cloud syndrome where he can't recall his own memories because all the Mako poisoning and stuff and everything that's happened. It is what it is. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up. But I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead. But that she's still alive and well. Somewhere. That everything's just some horrible prank. Mm -hmm. Because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? Yeah, but How the could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this but the shouldn't only good things happen here the body uh, can't live without the mind whenever i see the, the grand theater i just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head it's inception it's a dream within yeah, a dream of course at times like this we're so lucky to have our crew the family and the IPC. Everyone has their own plans going on. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. Mm -hmm. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us were all outsiders from another world. Ah, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. Me too. <sighs> but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. What? <sighs> March 7th losing Looks it. like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himako, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. One thing I'm curious about is, if a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, 
why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's situation back at the hotel? Perhaps we could also make a few inquiries about her while out there. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Worth focusing on? Oh. No problem. I'll leave it to you then. Wait, why is Himiko sound weird now? Uh -huh. Is it me? Aw, I thought I'd finally get to see Himiko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. Oh. Oh, well. Take care then, Mr. Yang. <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. It's Himiko time. Let's go. Hmm. Uh-oh. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? Oh, look at this. <laughs> I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared at like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. Welt. Is there something about my name? First, don't you want to know my name? We already know your name. I already do, Miss Acheron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? That you're Some hot. claim that you're the real culprit behind these murders. That the Annihilation <laughs> Gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That Duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as a martyr. He was a determined and heroic path strider. <laughs> Not even a villain should be disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that? Black hole you're wielding. Black hole. Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this cane. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron, that peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As a potential threat, your knowledge of us has reached uncomfortable depths Man, so much being thrown at us reveal your true identity and intentions otherwise brace yourself for gravitational disintegration damn that shouldn't be necessary i know he is as his ultimate but if it makes the nameless feel less defensive i'll be happy to abide believe it or not galaxy ranger acheron those are the names i go by to this very day my trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old, final request. I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? Mm. It's not that I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions. Why does her audio why keep changing? Dress is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. <sighs> is she okay? That memo keeper didn't do anything, right? She's fine. Let's just stick with the topic. Gaining my trust depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, Audio glitch, I gradually maybe? came maybe. to realize the secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. 
The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang, I think you've come to the same conclusion, mm. haven't you? Let's leave it at that. For now, I'll choose to believe that you bear no hostility. Share your findings with me and me alone. <laughs> I don't really want to real. conjecture to interfere with other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? No. Four cups. Four Has cups. The conversation coming up will last forever. Damn. Listen, I don't know what kind of longevity you think he has, or I have. You're right. I've been watching her long. closely for a while now, and the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams. Only for people allergic to Soul Glad. Soul Glad? And she said, Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. Yeah, like the 20th century, kind of. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. An aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. It's a cinch, this music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, what? other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. The Annihilation Gang that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. It's like having one side of a conversation right now. Gradation 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this to you. Well, that's a little creepy. Well done, Dubra. Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met by annihilation. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. They were abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... Is? They sought refuge in the land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest, away from the storms. Children of the flame, this marks your right of Passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. Shh. When have those on the path of destruction feared death? The Everflame Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people. They have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Uh-oh. What happened? The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? 
This music box fell into Acheron's hands, and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. <laughs> but along the way... Damn, heavy jugs. It's like Thank you for the follow, by the way. Erased. Nice name. Who's done this? I hate when I get the. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? It's. No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the cremators? What? My name is Constance. A pleasure to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it... <laughs> Unforgettable time together. <laughs> yeah, apparently I forgot to but take my meds. That seems unrealistic. Dahlia's not welcome on the banquet store. And I don't need a coming of age ceremony. And you, I know what you're looking for. Want her secret? I can give it to you and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. What the fudge is happening? I wish you unforgettable memories. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. No spoilers in chat, please. A phone. One if that is one, I don't know if it is. Uh, uh. What? Typewriter. A few days ago, the IPC made an announcement. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. Mm. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history turning the sensational Kataka Avgen extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection of the Denise, Pruthian, and Dorneau star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home, dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Well, they're like, they're like independents. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm. Burned by all the gods. What the fudge am I looking at? Land of rock, but not water. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, Whoa. but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. I didn't know newborns can talk. You promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. Oh, yeah, I know it's her mom, right? I was being sarcastic. When you took his father, my child was still sleeping in my belly. And where my husband went, I too soon must go. But she's dying also? 
I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Wow, this is so depressing. Jesus. Mommy, the rain. It's raining. Raining? Mom. Raining. It is raining. It's true. Those outworlders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. Back home. Oh. Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. sent down a gift like this from Gayathra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like your name. A gift from them to Avgen. <gasps> My boy. Man, there's a lot of information being thrown at May you. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed your schemes welcome to this sad world kakavasha she said kaka just saying <sighs> time to wake up gambler <laughs> oh heavens <laughs> Uh, I must have drunk too much Soul Glad. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you guessed. Doctor Ratio. Nobody outside knows about Robin's death. There aren't even baseless conspiracy theories. They're still streaming the rehearsal for her ceremony, using a stand-in, I guess. <laughs> they must be dreaming. Uh huh. Of course. <laughs> Who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? <laughs> Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. How are those bottles behind him floating? To be honest with you, I didn't believe it. I even tested it a few times myself. Until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced awake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. Mm. That's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Then you must have heard about the Memory Zone meme. When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Besides Robin, there was... Another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Mm -hmm. 
two murder cases? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the Nameless. Oh, she must have come across the other one. <laughs> this murderer is a psycho. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. It's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin's stand-in was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. How dare they? Uh, what should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so... I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire <laughs> of tricks so soon? <laughs> oh, there are plenty of chips, but I like how he just dashes them. Carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember, that masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the family. Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her. But she died, right before my very eyes. A complete and utter loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted your alibi. However, for the foreseeable future, mm. you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the Hounds. The Hounds? Well, things aren't looking too optimistic, Doctor. Starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are? A probability? Yes, it exists, but it verges on the infinitesimal. <laughs> I love Dr. To Ratio. phrase it in a matter more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, you're dreaming. <laughs> but if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. Mm. That man wants to see you again. Who? That Sunday. Sunday. <sighs> Not to be confused with Monday. Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere messenger. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk. But the living can. Oh, very astute of you. Ratio, I'm convinced now that there must be something wrong inside the family. Oh, <laughs> just you wait and see. That man's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. Rut row. Oh ho. We're here. The Dewlite Pavilion is the Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans for Panacone. Fortress? <laughs> well, I like this metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized orbital manor wasn't this heavily guarded. This mansion nominally belongs to Sunday and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Hey, Doc, whose side are you on anyway? Who's to say I won't sell you out? Good, you should sell him out. <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. 
Follow me and I'll bring you to his parlor. Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. Mmm. The side of paradise. The story unfolds. And the fudge? Nani? What? Do, do, do. Foo! I don't have any DPS on this team now. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. This cannot be the team. Just saying. All that, or nothing. That could have been bad. <laughs> Time will tell. Can I swap them in the spot? All right, sweet. Feeling lucky. Peaceful, calm. Hey, <laughs> Rachel just said, That's "Shut the hell place up." Of business, no entry. I was requested by Mister Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. He should have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch virtual particle clock is impressive. Excuse me? Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the mobile knights. Right, and as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. <laughs> Never go That's 2000. You can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the mobile knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. <sighs> it seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. <laughs> Dr. Ratio, so funny. Yeah, he's got a fun attack. Oh man. Dead end. The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our own. I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape with the mechanisms hidden in these nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. Oh, no, no On shit. On the previous occasion, an attendant named Kona had gone to the side room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. <laughs> of course, we can also use brute force. Big fan of that brute force. <laughs> this is hardly enough for a seat at the table. <laughs> it starts scolding you. I'm assuming it's not turning them all the same direction. Solving a problem by brute force doesn't prove your intelligence. Sure does. The side room. Don't let me repeat myself. False. All right. Hunt the fudge. <laughs> No, it's this shit again. Make sure you grab these basic treasures. Hello. I have to use the R. The vertigo room. Sucker. Nailed it. What 
What the fudge is that? It's like the karate kid of shit demons. Nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Mm. But are these nightingales? They are. What's wrong? How can nightingales be so huge? <laughs> they look more like torment eagles to me. There are no eagles in the five families, only nightingales. <sighs> Why am I wasting time with you on this? <laughs> We've returned to the path. Wrong way. Fudge. <sighs> Just as I thought. Here's the correct answer. Where was my Zelda noise? A truly miraculous discovery. Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. Oh, my dear Lord, Ratio. Really? <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that already. He's being sarcastic. I was being sarcastic. Can't you tell? <laughs> hey, <listen. laughs> oh, hey, listen. I appreciate it. Nailed it. <laughs> and your name's Zelda. Wow. Oh, impressive. <laughs> oh, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penicone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. Come on, talky talky. Mr. Clockman, we do these right now or come back later? Oh boy, I already clicked it. Oh, I love these ones. building and yeah, we'll come back later for most of the secrets aha I smelled it oh boy Chirp, chirp. You're such a good at hiding bird. These birds creep me out, to be fair. I think they really creep me out. Hold on. Huh? What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. Of course it is. My friend? Did you really make an appointment with him? It's a trial. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not wrong, we need to find a way to open this door in the hall or this place will be our prison. 
Oh, an escape room. <laughs> My favorite. Get serious. I've no time for games. Let's head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. Hmm. <laughs> wow. Now that's an enormous sandpit. You're, uh... I'd love to build a tall building for myself. This is a sandpit. Oh, look. There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There but... wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Well, with your brilliant mind, you shouldn't have any trouble recalling what was here last time. Right, Doctor? Of course. <laughs> Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. Fine. There's more Fine. birds. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? Because we probably are. Stream four. I didn't get to it for whatever reason. It blocked me. Found it. This is it. Oh, chesticle. Ba 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 ba. Dun dun dun. Yeah, I love having the hacker on. Same. Stream four. Do 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 do. Mm, another puzzle. Yo, bro. <laughs> um. I have to do this one, don't I? Find all the shattered pieces. God damn it. Here's one. Wait, I only have to find one? For real? For realsies? Okay, I guess for realsies. How do you turn it again? There we go. Ah, some more chesticles. Great, more robes I'm not gonna use. Yo, dude, formidable foe demolished, dude. Akron broken. If he needs to battle anything, we can just you can just tech point them out of commission. Oh no, I'm not doing that shit right now. Please, for the love of God. Oh Jesus Christ! Do I have to do this? No, okay, good. We'll come back for that. Oh, vertigo. Jesus. Ugh. The Grand Duke. The Duke of Dukes. Huh. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. <laughs> it's wise to remain silent when you should. <laughs> Starting to like Dr. Ratio more and more. <laughs> well, this reminds me of one of those building toys. You know, with the blocks. I've never played with them before, 
I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Hmm. Oh, look. The gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> so, what's next? Uh, doesn't the door open? Or do I teleport in? I guess we teleport in. The sand world. <laughs> Did I drink? A am I still in a dream? Indeed. <laughs> oh, doctor, you're huge. <laughs> it's me! Down here! In the, the sand pit! Oh, actually, I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar, and I'll infiltrate the family just like that. <sighs> oh, fine. I was just kidding. <laughs> Let's find a way to open the door. We're in a dream within a dream. Um. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Indeed. Oh no, the pieces, they're flying everywhere. Oh boy! Uh. Did they fly into people? Like, what just happened? Hello! Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. A base model? I am an oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Happy to be of service. The fudge? These are NPCs for like the dream world? Hmm. And tell me about the tour. Hello. Welcome to the Golden Hour Birds <laughs> model. <laughs> I am an oak soldier. <laughs> model. Happy to be of service. Generating guide. Please wait patient. <laughs> <laughs> Found the nearest check-in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule a uh, 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 sheen model. Model. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Did he just say ah? After screaming, the soldier collapses. Didn't even have time to earn his five star rating. Holy. What's up with that? Now the family's toys are trying to frame me? I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my wit. <laughs> that thing's dead. Oh, capsule machine. Oh, there's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? Doctor, do me a favor. Oh, boy. They animated this? This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. So, I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it. Still First very thing creepy. In the morning. <laughs> Insecure much? <laughs> mm hmm. He might be. Stream four. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, one of the fragments flew upstairs. I'll need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. To wet yourself up but there? It's tough. Jesus. This is a PG game. Hello? Click. Thank you. <laughs> oh, great. There's another pinball machine base here. Is Dr. Rachel going to flick him? Oh, my God. Doc! 
I'll need your brain power again. Oh, my dear lord. There's no need to yell. I can hear you. The pinball machine must be hidden somewhere in the hall. Like the arch. Wait here, and I'll be back in a minute. Oh, I thought he was going to flick him. That would have been funnier. <sighs> Finally. Oh, a Jesus. Of peace. Dun, dun, dun. Wait, he got rid of my DPS again. Man. It's not doing this to me. Can I get rid of him out of my party? No. Ugh. Spring forth. No need to fight when you can just skill into oblivion. That's it. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. Noise. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, oh, dear Lord. He just laid his ball on the table. Thanks, Doc. Be here all night. Nailed it. Table balls. Ratio's not a DPS. He's like a recovering alcoholic DPS. Oh, Ratio, you should come in here and take a look. The view here is breathtaking. Honestly, you could easily squash me with. <sighs> Hold on. Wait, Peace no, out. I want to grab the chest. Let me out. Oh, thank God. Now let me in. Nailed it. Wait a second. Wait, can I like... I not get over there. Can I get over to that one. Whatever. All right, get out. Figure it out later. Another chest, anyways, right here. Stream four. Green gold blades. The fudge am I going? Christina, good to see you. I feel like I haven't talked to you in forever. How you been? Nailed it. Not worth it.
can oh yeah I can noise commit seppuku now oh you can't do it to that enemy Double speed. Existence is unity. All will be swept away by the wind. Mm -mm. Good, been absorbed in rebirth. I weep for the departed. Like nobody <laughs> talked to me, please. Me too. Except I've been playing it just slightly on stream. Game is so good. I'm not done with it yet, though. Still waters of oblivion. All done. All done. Piece of cake. Doo -doo -doo. Yo, Vince, what's going on, buddy? Good to see everyone. Hope you guys have been doing good. Toy City has come to an end. It makes me feel sad. It should. You should be sad. Kind of isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. Very good. My Akron has a 3200 crit ratio. As the game doesn't want to give me any crit rate pieces. Yeah, dude, I feel that. What's mine at? Uh, there's mine currently. Why do I feel like I'm on the wrong gear? I think I am on the wrong gear. Oh yeah, I am on the wrong gear. Uh. There we go. There we go. Much better. Yeah, I know her orb and I know they're supposed to be the one from world nine. What do you think I am? You think I, you think I haven't farmed world nine at least 25 times already and have gotten it? Oh man, dude, Vince. Yeah. Let me get right on that. <laughs> I've been working on it though. <laughs> My Akron's yet to exist. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? Your kids start playing Honkai? Yeah. Go Only better I hide the credit he's cards. The one who should be prepared to face me. Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit mm -hmm. on what basis do you believe he's incapable necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction the ipc simple because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family use all your resins yeah <laughs> um, do you mean the galaxy ranger whom you accused previously that was just an excuse, good doctor. 
There's something wrong with that woman, and we need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky, <laughs> she could be an important pawn. Important pawn? It's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? Agreed. This is not an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well, <laughs> you can't win if you don't play, right? You had to use the jingle use guaranteed crit. Charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. All or nothing. I see what he did there. That was a gambler ref reference. It seems my puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. I appreciate your words. And I see you put a lot of effort into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. However, this is no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. What? I imagine this knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help, yes? Certainly. But you ought to know this better than I do. He's already faithfully fulfilled his duties. Hasn't he? <laughs> He's a duty. Yes, the doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. Mm -hmm. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. You don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. Mm -hmm. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. Well, there's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penicone. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. Death. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know you hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending the murderer and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry. I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. Since you're so selfless and generous, I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return. Mm. Would you? Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I just want to reclaim what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody, the bag of gift money, and... The box in which the cornerstone is stored. Can't forget that money. 
That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the Strategic Investment Department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator. Granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other forms of recompense. I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine, when you're out and about, do you always make adjustments to your appearance? Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. What? Of course. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Mmm, sassy. Sure, the gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all, a merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift money. But before that, I want you to tell me. The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for. What exactly is stored in it? Hmm. Oh, triple-faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron. So that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. <sighs> what have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, you have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. What? And if I refuse to answer? You can try, and we'll see if the harmony rejects you. <laughs> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. What's this bird? Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Is A lot of yeses. Is cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? What? Yes. Garden of what now? Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? Oh! Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgins have Who's the baby? to read, temper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? Yes. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? No. Are you your clan's sole survivor? <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? <sighs> I don't know. Interesting. Now. The final question. Oh boy. Can you swear 
that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box. like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Last chance to slap him in the face. <sighs> Please. Are these what you're looking for? There's balls on the table. What? Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. <laughs> My balls! If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. <laughs> oh, slap. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. The cornerstone, which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Mm -hmm. Was it really his? <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The ten stone hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. <laughs> Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. Oh, snap. <laughs> I appreciate it. Do you, though? Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> the golden stone Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you He won't reveal to you that the ten stone hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones Granting them an unparalleled radiance What? And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. 
and it belongs to Topaz. Wait, why does he have Topaz's so, stone? Do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. It's in the bag? I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone more precious than life itself with a bunch of worthless jewels disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. He's gambling with those balls. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep leading to a total loss. Learned doctor, I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> Ratio, you wretch. <laughs> <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. <sighs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> is this what the harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. This guy is crazy. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. Here, so good to see you. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. <sighs> oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. Damn, he's getting angry. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. And the plot thickens. Cock! 
This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Yeah, he does. <gasps> Kakavisha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. We can survive without it. But I can't live without you, little brother. Aww. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. One? What happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. So you killed two birds? <laughs> of course. No good, Kirito. How are you doing? You You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. That's no reason to push your luck by going up against those, those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how mom and dad... Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. Hmm. I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy because mom left you this necklace. That hey, sounds like Kid Gohan. There'll be no next time. It is important, but not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't blame you, but you must remember what mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gyathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. All right. And then what did he do? He left to join the IPC? Hello? Mm -hmm. Listen to me and swear to Gyathra Triclops. Okay. We'll swear to Gyathra Triclops to protect this wealth. Dun, 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 dun. But sister, if Gyathra Triclops was really watching over us, then why did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? After all, Dad went to the Catechins' land only to prepare for Gyathra Triclops' offerings. And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath till the moment she closed her eyes. Wow, depressing. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? Um, excuse me. 
I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm, just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, Holy and shit. body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Please rest assured, your vitals are monitored in case of emergencies, allowing us to wake you if necessary. This is all for the safety of our guests. Can I trouble you to access the records? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. We can only gain access if there's a problem. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks like nothing can be found here. How convenient. At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Man, th this story is actually Thank pretty you long. Thank for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? Damn, guys, have a good night. Mean? I appreciate you. Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Hmm, I'm sure. Sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin. I'm not surprised. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. I feel like Himiko's voice is she's different, or maybe I'm just hearing her differently. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Maybe she got a better mic, I don't know. The memo keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. The hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by her, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. Mm -hmm. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, but what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. Huh. Who are you guys? The Bravo team has arrived <laughs> at their designated position. What? Ready to execute armed evacuation operations. Long is an understatement. Fox. That's what she Get said. Up. Wait. Uh, uh, armed evacuation? Boss, aren't you drunk? <laughs> what do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just don't let the director find out. Act first, report later. Understood. Help! Help me! I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball! I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice. Hey, check it out! That place. Could it be the IPC workers from Bellabog? <laughs> to all guests! The IPC will be conducting special operations within the hotel. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones, or compulsory measures will be enforced. I'll request a beating for you lot. You've been told not to drink during work hours. <laughs> no Take him back to the hotel room. I'll organize a meeting later to properly go over how this incident report should be written. Miss Topaz? I never thought I'd run into you on Panacone. <sighs> Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Evangeline has told me a lot about your happenings. Huh? It's 
fine. Do as they ask, and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any so action. So thick as ever? Yeah. Yes. All right. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penacony. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former Frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC stuff now. Only a Venturine, who carries an invitation, is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us, we can only sit around in the Reality Hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. No wonder a Venturine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. <sighs> His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners mm. well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds to verify some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep, they're tailing us right now. Oh, Why snap. not go and talk to them? It'll take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. They shouldn't be so thick. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? How does it feel to be in business with a Venturine? I bet you're not used to it. That's just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But Venturine's luck has always been good. He's always closed all his cases without a hitch mm. and basically never lost a gamble. Which is why on the issue of retaking Panacone, I'm watching with keen interest. Except he seems to be losing the gamble right now. As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Sold. Do 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 do. We're carrying out our captain's orders. What? What do you want? We made a mistake last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacone. We've got the right one this time. <laughs> you had the so wrong one before? They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. <laughs> we meet again. Uh, uh, it's you again. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. Well, spit it out. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. So you know each other. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? Do mm -hmm. you, you, you want the fudge? Um... Up, 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 up. All right. oh, sheesh, why do you keep asking me that? <laughs> We're in the middle of investigating a murder case for the family. Uh, may we speak to your captain about it? Oh. Uh, well... Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps before he returned from Dream's Edge. What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Yeah, th 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 that's right. <laughs> We have nothing to report. Please leave. Looks like they're not going to cooperate. But they did at least tell us that the captain is at Dream's Edge. Very nice of you to leak that information. Why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher. The one she mentioned, right? Probably. Head to the Dream's Edge. The dream of edging. Lots... And lots of edging. Don't judge me. Oh, such tight security. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Gallagher. 
Gallagher. Where could he be? Right there. Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation up ahead. No unauthorized personnel allowed. Hold on a minute. I think I've seen you before. The, the gray-haired one. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacony? Lots. That's right. It's me, Clocky. Uh, you think you look alike? <laughs> Wait, are you for real? <laughs> Not possible. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver-haired girl. Uh. Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm not letting you get by this time. Please leave. <laughs> or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. <laughs> huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? <laughs> Only the worst. Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. What? Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us? That's all I can divulge. Uh, he'll do! He's the one we've been looking for! <sighs> Sorry. No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Liar. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? We're really sorry for troubling you. Let's think of another way. Another way. Fun to see you. his mind can you perform it again that uh, clocky magic the cocky magic <laughs> that's what i've been waiting for oh boy not again oh jesus sorry everyone please leave can wait which one did i have to do last time i can't remember uh was it angry Can't remember. Current emotions, um. Oh boy. You punk. The security what? officer's word is absolute. That's just a metaphor. A metaphor. Oh, I'm warning you. If you keep insisting. Um. I. Come at me, bro. Oh, great. Even if Klipoff were here, they wouldn't be able to protect him. <laughs> there is no meaning to death in defeat. All right. Nailed it. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Dusted for oblivion. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. And they're all dead. My death. Oh, what? However, this time I will sever the chains of tread. He doesn't have to be so melodramatic. Looks like he still doesn't want to divulge anything. He's lighting up. All right, go in the hampy. Oh man, I think it was sad. Whoa. It's time to clock out, and no one's gonna stop me. Oh, you pee. He peaced out. <laughs> uh, this clockwork trick of yours, it's kind of dangerous. That's funny. At least he won't be getting in our way again. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. Welcome. 
Since you made it here, what can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Mm -hmm. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable legendary. guest watchmaker. I had an encounter with this lady in the golden hour. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there too. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it, in the hopes of getting justice for her. Mm -hmm. The Nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? What's wrong with the family? Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Hmm. All Mr. those. Mr. Gallagher seems to be getting at something. Well, you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. I don't know if I like his voice actor. It is what it is. Even after that chilling tragedy, this dream is still running effortlessly. Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. The family itself is a huge, perfect building. Like a living idol. They're still talking? Each member of the family sees themselves as a piece of the divine puzzle, revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Penacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long but the human body has its limits and so does the divines that doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make just pointing out the facts mr yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than i do why do you say that miss acheron the beautiful dream is crumbling but not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. That's collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. Mm. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death looms as the inevitable conclusion. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and... Crumble. The random puzzle pain is still in there. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Of course. That's if I remember. Yep, she's losing her memory. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily forgetful. It's only when this sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Take your time. <laughs> that should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Panacone. Ask away. 
Uh... Gilded Hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city, the economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running, funding blood that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local... I've never met anyone who is willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. I don't know if they would open the vault's door, but before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet from the sky, while those around him continued on their way. What? From faith. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Someone once said to me, Penacone wasn't like this a long time ago, nor should it be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities, watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people, where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. You're probably right. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? <sighs> Miss Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. And how you got here? There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. And yet, you stand here right now. Which also means... that man failed. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, Humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. Mm -hmm. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend, soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that... Honkai Impact, the third reference? Yep, I don't get it. Countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. A fitting metaphor for the nameless's trailblazing spirit. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar, yet different, worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike, yet don't. I, too, have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds. 
witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told, it overlaps with my past and within that abyssal dream. I ended that man's life alone. Damn, you seppuku them? <sighs> I am not who you think I am, nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous talk. Oh, come on. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And the, so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling, all because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? I don't think 2.1 is boring. Then why exactly do we even walk towards the light? Thank good to see you, by the way. It is a little over dramatized, I think, but. They really, um, they're really churning in all the plot. Answer the phone, Swan. Oh, boobs. Boobs. Long time no see. Ah! Having fun on Penacony? Acheron. What? This voice. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Though I don't know exactly what you are or what you're up to. My bullets will find you. Until then, you best find a casket store on Panacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you. Damn. Imposter. Imposter? I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron too. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? I'm the Garden of Recollections Memo Keeper. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You that imposter's bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean. What? Wait for me. I don't know what you're talking about. But, you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger, yes? I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? Right, row. <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll be on Penacone soon. Uh, memo keeper, go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak and warm it up, and I'll raise a glass to you. Yes, the question. <laughs> well, 
Nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure. You best get a chair and take a seat. That woman, named Acheron, is an emanator who should not exist. She's time traveling. <laughs> who knows? Up, oh, he's mad. You look pale, or is that also part of your act? <sighs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. What? So. The genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what an honor. Yes, and I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't be seeing them, because I'm the manager of this task. He's... He's triple Great. crossing. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. He's... Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. He's a double, double, double How agent? How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by uh, the Boot Hill? My conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. And that they hold the secrets of Penacony. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Yeah, Doctor. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash, even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one, at that. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. Is that like a super serum? What's this? A medical advice? Huh? He derped out. <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, doctor. <laughs> Dude, Gamba's harder than Shinq. Asking me to solve a case without giving a single clue. How <laughs> typical of you. Wouldn't get it, scoundrel. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. Hmm. Nice. Do I have to talk to all of them? Would you be willing to support my performance? Sure. Wow, how fast. Well, you see, I can't. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. If you ever get the chance, please feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, 
Do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Death? That's a pretty scary topic, and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. Mm hmm. <laughs> well, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panicone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Well, if you're up for some gossip, it's not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest at the Reality Hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. Mm. It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. <laughs> Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May Shibe protect us? <laughs> Shibe? Unexplained coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> I can feel something. Uh, the world has truly. There's some gems for you. You wait. I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? You must have some camera set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? Yep. You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. Oh, a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death. Oh, well, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought of that idea. Death? Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Oh, what a disappointment. The effects were awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. What? Cryptic. The sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Is that all? Yeah. What else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Penacone movie industry. They even called this junk groundbreaking art. <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. A monster covered in eyes. Indeed. <laughs> I had to talk to all of these people? Holy crap. A uh, sip of liquor. Oh? <laughs> you. You're giving these gems to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. <laughs> or are you just pitying me? Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as I have soul glad. That's enough. This is just a dream, after all. <laughs> you really shouldn't drink so much Soul Glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the Devil of Soul Glad. <laughs> <laughs> the Devil of Soul Glad? Care to elaborate? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a seahorse with a long neck. A seahorse. It loves to appear to junk people, especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> How funny. <laughs> yeah. Very funny indeed. <laughs> oh, does everyone have to go? Take care, my friend. 
If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready the hounds. to help. <sighs> you don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up forcefully. <laughs> that won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to. But thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. What? Well, actually, I do need a favor. As the most outstanding hound in Panacone, have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? Is he talking about Firefly? Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Panacone? We've never had anything like that before. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work then. Ugh, what was I even thinking? Family would never share intel with the IPC. Hmm. <laughs> More to talk to. Oh my god. You want to talk to me? Sure, but nothing too sensitive, okay? Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. <sighs> so, are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm flattered. I'm no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death? You're just halfway done with the quest? Another oh my hero, god. So, I see. Well, that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my boss shut it down. How did your boss talk you out of it? Well, she simply said covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Mm, guess she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. Mm. <laughs> Interesting. This dude's tripping balls. All or not. Just in case. Hmm. Oh, were you? Is this? Here's your gift. For me? Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? It took yes, you six hours. It's for you. Just take it. Do I need to break this up is into this two streams? Real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for I my thought we parents, were close to being done. Me. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? Hmm? Um, neither. I just wanted to know if you've ever heard about death in the dreamscape oh you sound just like my father always warning me about danger even in dreams he's an intellitron so his dream entry methods are different from us organics can't count on him to protect me if something does go haywire funny right now i'm still under his protection <laughs> how ironic Hey, stay positive. Oh, you Both think it'll have to be two streams? Day, we can right? do that. Hmm. The devil of soul wait, god. Wait. Dangers in the dream. And nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death is a popular topic in this sweet dream granted by the family. Well, I've collected a bunch of rumors, but no useful clues. Yeah, no, like two hours? Yeah, we can't do that. The gems in my bag are running low. Well, let's see if my last lucky interviewee brings some surprises. 
I assume I can um let's pick this up, right? Alright, well what I think we're gonna have to do then is we're gonna have to um I'm gonna have to burn through my energy. And then we'll have to finish this on Sunday. Or tomorrow, actually. I might stream tomorrow. All right, why don't we do that? We're gonna have to two part it. Wow, six hours of story. Have they ever done that? Except for like when the game first came out? Holy crap. He has a long one, apparently. Stream four, the gleam of old blades. <laughs> Stream four, the gleam of old blades. Rip. be swept away by the wind <laughs> this is double speed Human creation. well i don't know if i've ever heard their english version holy shit weep for the departed it too shall fall i don't know if i like the english version I'm not skipping a battle hey man i gotta oh, make i gotta make some more chips chips away get some tp points back this is double speed creations time for a buzz i weep for the departed it too shall fall ripped I don't know why he chose that one. Oh well. I'm getting decent pieces on the other set, just not in the set we need. So annoying. <laughs> I do appreciate everyone hanging out tonight. Absolutely amazing. Always cracked. Get over here, pig. Still waters of oblivion. I weep for the departed. Okay. <laughs> No one else is even going to get a turn. I don't know how she's going that fast.
ripped. I'm, now I'm just selecting random shit, honestly. Game is telling you to build Himiko and hurt him better? Maybe. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Destiny for oblivion. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Existence is unity. Mm. <laughs> this is double speed. Still waters of oblivion. Wow. Be watchful, always. Didn't I get this boss the first time? A fudge. Stream four. Gleam of old place. Eternal. 849,000? Oh, Holy shit. <laughs> this is double speed. Human creations. <laughs> Just for oblivion. I weep for the departed. <laughs> it too shall fall. <laughs> insane insane amounts of damage right now this is double speed <laughs> oh absolutely ridiculous Oh, come on, game. Give me something good to eat. Do da, do da. Hmm. I don't like any of that. Stream four. Of old I think I got every buff. Wow, I did. That is quite rare. All done. And so, sound lingers. Here we go. Storms on the horizon. Eternal. All will be swept away by the wind. Oh, nice. <laughs> this is devil speed. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Damn. Creations. Destined for oblivion. No matter. All will be swept away by the wind. This is double speed. Bum, 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 bum. Creations. <laughs> this is double speed. Uh, 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 uh. All will be swept away by the wind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
all will be swept away by the wind. <laughs> my main this character in an attack here? Oh my god. Oh. There we go. For the it too shall fall. Creations. Still waters of oblivion. Converge and awaken. Destined for oblivion. Wow. I weep for the departed. This thing got demolished. It too shall fall. I don't think you even captured anyone the whole time. Holy crap. Another blood debt repaid. How much we need? Forty nine. Forty nine. Think need twice. HP rope, nice. No. Air Oh my god, look at this. What the fudge? Come on, man. I'm just gonna hold it just in case. Who knows? Maybe someone needs that. Oh. Why? The pain and suffering. Of all this crampy gear. I just need an attack orb. Yeah, I know. That's why we've been doing one golden gears every stream for like the last week. Attic. To get it. Uh, uh, uh. Except for today, I guess. We didn't do it today. Work in progress. Yeah, definitely for Yeah, we definitely got to work on that. 100%. Uh, Mm. Yep, big rip. Um, I haven't earned a selector, have I? I don't think there is one. Oh, there is one there. Hmm, we're going to have to look into that. Garbage. All right, we get one one chance of this. And we're going to get garbage. That's actually pretty good. Just wrong set again. A wrong bonus. Hold on to that. Wow. I mean, depending on how that rolled, but. Big oof. Big bada oof. All right. Well, on that note, we're going to call it a night. We'll have to do this in two streams. I do appreciate everyone hanging out. Thanks so much for being here. It is late. I got to get some sleep. And, um,. Go from there. We'll go from there. Um, man, so much story. Crazy. Crazy amount of story. Um, but anyways, guys, you guys have a great night. Uh, thanks again, once again, for hanging out. 
I'll see you guys either tomorrow night or on Sunday to finish the story. And then we get back into farming mode. So much farming. Jesus. Uh, anyways, guys, have a great weekend. I'll see you later. Peace.